we have very many opportunities going to be made available under the theme driving manufacturing and trade efficiency through digital transformation and innovation. This excitement, ladies and gentlemen, is going to reach more than 300,000 Ugandans who are going to walk through those gates over the next 10, uh, 7 days. These are 300,000 Ugandans who are going to be involved in business development and growth by learning how to do manufacturing better using technology and innovation. What's also exciting for all of us is that we have 30 country pavilions. So it's not just Uganda going to be exhibiting or East Africa. We have a whole range of countries that you're going to be seeing across uh, the showgrounds and it's going to be extremely exciting for all of you. So even as we are now, we are happy to tell you that you are all welcome. We are calling you to come in without being afraid of the rains. Over the last two weeks, I'm sure many people in Kampala have seen the floods. These floods have happened in and around Lugogo showgrounds, but not within our grounds, not within our parking, because we've done a very good job of preparing this place for showgoers. Um, expectations will probably be again to grow the business. Every year I come, I always have a brand new product, a product that has not been on the market, on the Ugandan market. So once again, we're back again for the third time to show you even different products that weigh more than what you've seen before. The organization is good, though they, they have shut a lot of gates. Uh, exhibitors have been getting problems, people are getting problems, especially people with cars are getting problems. They have to, to teach people where to go. Yeah. This year the trade fair runs from the third to the 10th of October, seven full days of activity here in Lugogo for exhibitors to show off what they have, for showgoers to come and purchase items, to come and learn more about manufacturing, to come and share with fellow businesses. We have very many opportunities going to be made available under the theme driving manufacturing and trade efficiency through digital transformation and innovation. This excitement, ladies and gentlemen, is going to reach more than 300,000 Ugandans who are going to walk through those gates over the next 10, uh, 7 days. Now, as the Uganda Insurance Association, we are an umbrella organization that brings together insurers, micro-insurers, and reinsurers. Now, we work to advance interests of our members, but we also look out for the public um, to make sure that they get sound and professional services from our membership. Now, today, and the next seven days that we'll be here, we, will, we have a booth as well. We will be showcasing different, throughout our media uh, our platforms and also in the booth, we'll be discussing the different um, insurance policies, the different insurance services and uh, benefits uh, to everyone, to the members. And this is to demonstrate, you know, people usually say that insurance is complex. And we've realized that every time, we've, we do a lot of sensitization, but every time you go out, still people say they do not understand what insurance is. So today and the next seven days, we'll be trying to demystify what insurance really is. You'll be able to interface with professionals who will take you through the details of what is required to take insurance when you have a claim. What do you need to do? When you have a conflict, what happens? But also, most importantly, for you to understand that insurance is not a luxury, it is a necessity, we face a lot of risks, and most times we need um, a helping hand to help us overcome these risks as and when they appear. So please come through at our booth. We will be discussing, dialoguing with you, uh, we also have uh, games and quizzes where people will win prizes and uh, we look forward to seeing you throughout. Thank you.